Welcome to the session on test exam strategy for the 2017 exam. In this session, we are going to have a look at exam pattern, important topics, how to prepare in the next 15 days to be able to score high in the exam, what are the cutoffs for different courses uh, run by TES, and then how can we effectively prepare for some of the areas in quant, reasoning, and verbal part over and above GK. So let us begin by understanding the exam pattern. Now we all know that there are 100 questions in the paper to be solved in 100 minutes. There is no negative marking in the paper. And we get plus one marks for every correct answer. Now, coming to the distribution of questions in the paper. We have three sections in the paper. One is verbal ability. Other is quant plus di plus lr and the third and the and the most important section that is gk we have 30 questions from verbal ability 30 questions from con plus di plus lr and 40 questions from gk which takes the total to 100 questions now let us have a look on con plus di plus lr section and what are the important topics here? You are going to get eight to 10 questions from DI. DI includes your tables, bar graphs, line graphs, pie chart. To prepare DI, you can uh, refer to level one questions of any MBA preparation book like Arun Sharma, Nishit Sinha, etc. and can just go for level one questions. Then you will be having around eight questions from LR part. Now what all uh, does come in LR? Let us have a look at that. In LR, you are going to get topics like number series, say number series in which you will be given certain numbers and we will have to complete the series. Then alphanumeric series, which is the combination of alphabets and numbers. Then you will be getting questions on linear arrangement. That is your linear arrangement and uh, sitting arrangement. Usually they will not give you circular sitting arrangement. It's it's majorly going to be around li linear circular, uh, linear sitting arrangement. Circular arrangement generally does not come in test. And then you may have questions around statement, assumption and conclusion questions. So this is something which you might have encountered in some of the other exams as well. So statement, conclusion, assumption questions also from the part of logical reasoning and will come under the eight questions which usually come from LR. So now we have the eight to 10 questions of DI. We have eight questions from LR. So now the remaining questions that is around your 15, uh, 15 to 17 questions will be coming from the con part. Now, if I have to break down con, then my most important topic for con in test is arithmetic. This is the most important topic from which I will be getting seven to eight questions only from arithmetic. And what all topics come in arithmetic? Time, speed and distance, time and work, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, percentages, mixtures and allegations, and your ratio, 
and proportions so these are these are the topics which comprise of arithmetic section in con and you will have at least 7 to 8 questions from these topics then you may have one question from logarithm a very very easy question you will have a very basic level pnc question say just one question or at max two questions one to two questions from pnc and then you can have a very basic probability also in case there are two questions you may have one question from probability then there could be a very very basic level very basic level number system question and you may have around one to two questions from number system there will be no question from geometry in the paper there will be no question from geometry in the paper as per the past trends so if if you are weak in quant you can skip geometry algebra algebra means your topics like functions graphs quadratic equations is something which you can skip for the quant part however be ready for a very very basic level linear equation or a quadratic equation question that may come in the paper but as such questions on functions graphs inequalities circles triangles mensuration these stuffs they generally don't come in test count as per the past trends so we have had a look at the topic wise breakup within the con plus lr plus di section we'll come to the number of ideal attempts later on first we are just having a look at important topics so while we have had a look on con plus lr plus di now let us move to the verbal part 30 questions of verbal what is the usual breakup from there so in verbal ability part from which i am going to have 30 questions in the paper from rc we are going to have 5 to 6 questions this is the topic with the highest weightage then we will have sentence correction or say identify the error in the sentence again you will have five to six questions from here then you have fill in the blanks these are single blank questions again five to six in the number usually vocabulary based very easy vocabulary based then we will have questions on idioms and phrases expect two to three questions from here then you will also have fill in the blanks questions with two blanks usually around prepositions etc you can have three to four questions from here then you may you may have questions around finding the odd man out four to five questions from here then you will have questions around world analogies again three to four questions from here so this is a very broad breakup of topics within the verbal ability section now you may also have one or two questions from topics like para jumbles however more or less the verbal ability part in test is focused around your reading comprehension very basic level vocabulary and idioms and phrases along with sentence correction so this is the broad level distribution of topics of verbal ability now coming to the most important topic of uh, or say most important section of testnet exam that is your gk 
from which you have the highest number of questions in the paper that is 40. Now let us try to have a look on the important topics from GK part. Now, now what could be the breakup of topics? The highest number of questions as we all know are going to come from social and economic issues. which could be anywhere between 8 to 10. The second highest number of questions is going to come from economy that is your revolving around India, Indian economy. Say around 5 to 6 questions from here. Then you will have some general current affairs. Again, around five to six questions. Then you will have questions from environment. Three to four questions from environment in the paper. Then polity and Indian constitution. Polity, Indian constitution. Again, three to four questions. Then another important topic for the GK part is art and culture. Four to six questions from this. Then you will have questions on books and authors. Then your lessons and awards three to four questions from these two topics then you have topics like geography again three to four questions sports around say two questions and then around three to four questions from science science includes chemistry biology or and you will have three to four questions from this so these are the topics which broadly cover your gk part with a tentative breakup of number of questions from each of the topics and that is how you should prioritize your gk preparation now coming to how to prepare GK, right? Now we know 40 questions are going to come from GK. We have just now uh, tried to understand the different uh, topics from which questions may come. Now there are three ways to prepare GK. It's up to you which way do you go for. One is you go for NCRT books of all the topics. Plus you couple this with yearbook, which is a very, very tedious task. And hence, I do not suggest to go for this. Second is you go for the GK, uh, GK uh, compendium provided to you by some of the offline coaching institutes like Time, CL, etc. Time, CL, IMS. Now, the, now while you can go through this, you will find that this is a vast sea which may or may not be very relevant for test specific topics. And the third is our test GK course from which over last uh, two years we have had 32 to 34 questions out of 40. Now here you will find very uh, specific topic wise GK books coupled with GK tests. So these are the three broad ways you can compare, uh, you can actually prepare your GK. I will not suggest you, you to go to books like Lucent and all because they are very vast. It's like a C and then you, you may end up studying a lot of irrelevant things, which is not needed for an exam like TES, 
which is very much focused on certain set of topics and hence it is very important for you to select from a very very re refined study material so that you can increase your efficiency of preparation and utilize the time in hand in the most effective way hence the most recommended course remains our test gk course whose link i'll be sharing uh, with you later on and then the gk compendium provided to you by the offline institutes ncrt books and yearbook i'll suggest not to go for it because it's a very very ineffective way to utilize your time because you end up studying almost everything which is not required coming to attempts and cutoffs i'll talk about cutoffs not talking about attempts because the exam does not have a negative marking so you will anyways be attempting all the 100 questions so now coming to cutoffs hr course at test mumbai usually has cutoff in the range of 70 to 76 marks depending upon the difficulty level of the exam now coming to the cutoff of some of the other courses which are equally prominent and uh, there will be quite a few of you who will be going for those courses and hence I am going to share with you the cutoffs of those courses. Also, we have uh, category-wise cutoffs for the HR course as well. So that in case any one of you is not from a from general category, you also have the idea about the cutoffs. So while 74 to 76, or say 72 to 76, is the cut off for general category for SC and ST the cutoffs so while this is for general for SC ST this is around 55 to 60 for HR course at this now coming to some of the other courses now another very important uh, course which we have seen that you know a good number of students go for is development studies. Development studies. For development studies the cutoff will be usually in the range of 50 to 55. Then there is a course on health administration. Here again, the cutoff is in the range of 50 to 55 marks. Then there is a course on hospital administration. For this, the cutoff is in the range of 50 to 55 marks. Then there is a course on globalization and labor. For it, the, co the cutoff is in the range of 55 to 60 marks. Then there is a course on climate change. Cutoff is in the range of 50 to 55 marks. All these cutoffs which I am sharing here are for the general category. Then there are a couple of courses. One is around social entrepreneurship for which the cutoff is in the range of 48 to 50 marks. And then there is another course around media and cultural studies for which the cutoff is 50 to 55 marks. Once again, so I'll still write it down so that you have a good note of it. The entrepreneurship course will have the cutoff in the range of 48 to 50 marks. 
and the course on media and cultural studies will have in the range of 50 to 55 marks. So here are the cutoffs of some of the most prominent courses at this with HR course being the flagship course of the institute cutoff is highest which is in the range of 70 to 276 marks for general category and for SCST it's in the range of 55 to 60. So this shall give you the idea of how much accuracy do you need to be able to do well in the paper. In terms of attempts since there is no negative marking all of us will be attempting all the 100 questions in the exam. And hence, more than attempts, the focus should be on trying that how much score do we need to be able to get the calls from the courses we are aiming at. There are no sectional cutoffs. Also, please note that there are no sectional cutoffs in the paper. There is only one overall cutoff. So let me write it here. That there is no sectional cutoff. Calls are purely based on overall cutoff. So the calls are purely driven by your overall cutoff. Now, just uh, going back, going a step back and talking a bit more about GK. What all to study? In terms of current affairs, focus on last six months the most. In terms of books and authors, focus on books published in 2016. Plus, any awards in the areas of books, you should know their authors. Then rest of the topics like social and economic issues, you will be focusing on 2016 once again. Uh, when we talk about economy, you will be again focusing on 2016 developments. When we talk about sports, we will be talking, uh, we will be studying about sports which happened in 2016, any special contest, any special changes in rankings, any big awards, all those things of 2016, you don't need to go to histories. Right. But however, only only static GK is the part which you should be studying from the start. However, any topic which keeps on changing every year, you just need to focus on 2016 stuff. So this was about GK coming back to verbal or say quant, di, lr, we have already discussed important topics and the breakup of questions from these areas, how to prepare level 1 questions of any MBA preparation book, should be good. And for some of the topics of reasoning, you can go to verbal and non-verbal reasoning book by R.S. Agrawal. In terms of mock strategy, from here till the exam day, one full length mock every day. One full length mock every day. If you don't have good number of mocks with you, please go for our test mocks plus GK package, 
where we give you comprehensive uh, customized study material of GK for test as well as you get 20 full length mocks with detailed solutions along with 10 sectional tests so that is going to take care of your entire test preparation both in terms of mocks and GK part and you will not need to wander on multiple websites for GK preparation rather just download your ebooks take your GK tests and start preparing in a very effective way for the test So in terms of mock strategy, please ensure that you are taking one mock every every day from here on and you are following that mock with the in-depth analysis to try to understand that on what all areas do you need to work upon and what all areas you are good at. Since, since the exam is pretty much speed based test uh, coupled with a good accuracy, it's very important for you to practice, practice it within the time limit practice it uh, with a with a quotient paper which is actually very close to the actual exam hence the mocks which we are providing you are going to help you because they are pretty much close to the actual exams difficulty level now i have also seen that some of the students they are uh, very much worried about past papers please don't worry that much about past papers because anything which has come in past is obviously not going to get repeated secondly the difficulty level ha has been varying over the years so you cannot just say on the basis of the difficulty level of last year that what's going to the difficulty level of this year so so if you are able to get hold of some of the past papers very good if you are not able to get hold of some of the past papers it's okay what is more important is are you solving mocks on a regular basis which are close to the actual exam level and are you analyzing them well and how effectively are you focusing the time on GK, GK preparation because GK is going to be the make or break area when it comes to testnet exam and please note that even with a week weak hold on con you can still ace this because out of 30 questions you you have hardly 15 questions from the core con part so even if you don't do them you can actually do very well in tests with a strong verbal ability and strong gk and without gk you actually cannot go and cross the cutoff of hr course so your entire GK, uh, entire test preparation should revolve around GK and hence it's very important for you to be very very careful about what kind of material are you using to prepare for this GK and how refined it is and you are not studying anything extra and that is where the kind of ebooks which we are which we are providing you they are definitely going to help you with a with a record where 32 to 34 questions have been coming coming from them out of 40. So we have discussed section wise strategy. We have discussed important topics. We have discussed cutoffs. We have discussed sources. We have discussed mock strategy. What else? So I believe that you know we have covered almost everything in this particular session. Just, just to re-emphasize, we have to attempt all hundred questions in the paper as there is no negative marking. Target a 75 plus score to be on the safest side for the call of HR course at Mumbai. and do 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 study gk very well so i believe that uh, i've tried to cover most of the areas uh, from which uh, most of you keep keep on asking a lot of queries and this should help you we have also discussed the breakup of gk because uh, most of the times i have seen that students coming and asking the gk topics break up 
so i'll pro probably you know try to end this video with the list of gk topics once again on your screen where we have 8 to 10 questions from social and economic issues we have 5 to 6 questions from indian economy we have 5 to 6 questions from general current affairs 3 to 4 questions from environment 3 to 4 questions from polity and indian constitution 4 to 6 questions from arts and culture 3 to 4 from books and authors persons and awards 3 to 4 from geography 2 from sports 3 to 4 from science and that actually comprises your entire gk section of this so with this i like to end this session and i like to wish you good luck for the exam and in case any one of you have any queries you can just post it on our uh, facebook page as well as the facebook group and we'll be happy to answer and uh, yes do check out the test mocks plus gk package the the most recommended package by us where we have had more than 100 calls last year with a very very good strike rate of gk as i have earlier also mentioned 32 to 34 questions coming from it and 20 mocks for you to prepare and if someone already has lot of mocks with him or her you can just go for the test gk course and ensure that you are preparing from the most refined and customized material for this exam so with this i'll end the session wish all of you good luck and feel free to reach out to me in case of any queries thank you all